I am so glad to have all of you back here with us again for Godspeed Magazine's exclusive series here on spiritual warfare. We are now going into the six of 12 individual lessons. This lesson from John Ramirez is about addiction and kicking the enemy out of any type of addictive behavior in your life. Enjoy. God bless you, my brother and sister. This is your brother in Christ, John Ramirez. Just want to come and touch your life, you know, really bring an awareness, bring a truth into your life. I think that today we, we, we're we living in a place that we have dumbed down. We have medicated Christianity. We have medicated our walk with God. We have medicated our even hearing from God. We have medicated. We have taken a false gospel today, and we have we had we have bought into a false gospel. You know the story. You know Paul says in the Book of Galatians, they preach any other gospel that I'm preaching to you today. Let, let them let them be cursed. And I think we don't we don't need to live under a curse. We need to be the watchmen of the wall. We need to be armed and dangerous. And you know I thank God for the opportunity to write this book, destroying fear, and teaming up with Godspeed Magazine. Uh, it's been an amazing journey to put something together to have two. You know, I think today we don't even come together as the body of Christ anymore. We don't take this this powerful ministry and this powerful ministry and magnify the name of Jesus Christ and edify the body. And I want to talk to you today, you know, on on, the, on, on addictions, you know, spiritual addictions. Uh, the spiritual addictions in our life. What are your spiritual addictions? Who's who? You know, there's good addictions that we have that that we that bring us into completion, that bring us into the fullness of who we are in Christ. You know, by reading your word, uh, by, 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 by responding a certain way, how living a certain way. Uh, my addiction is to my addiction is to glorify the name of Jesus Christ. That the day I die, the day I close my eyes for the last time, I made Jesus Christ proud. He didn't waste his time when he came looking for me. And I want you to be the same way. I want God's best to be in your life. What demonic addictions are in your life? What are you watching? What are you hearing? What are you reading? What's controlling you? What manipulates you? What turns you on spiritually? What turns me on spiritually really is my relationship with God. It's, 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 it's a spiritual thing. What is the spiritual addiction in your life that the devil has a stronghold? The devil owns like 80% of your real estate and God owns 20. How is it that God owns 20% of your real estate? He died for you. He redeemed you. And now, you, you, now you're giving all this territory to the enemy because of your addictions. Whatever you're addicted to, whatever you do, spiritual addictions are, 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 it's like having a spiritual cancer that's eating away from who you are, what, what God created you to be. Because addictions, man, we have good addictions. People go to the gym, they work out, they do exercise. Those are good addictions. They, they make it something in their lives. They, they make it a permanent thing in their life. They make it a consistent thing in their life. What are yours? I and mean, examine yourself. Understand that there's this accountability that you have to give to the Lord in the end of your, in the end of your race. What is it? Break it, destroy it, dismantle it, uproot it. Tell the devil, listen, I'm not going to go your way anymore. Today we break ties. I break soul ties. Break soul ties with people. Break soul ties with things that are not of God. Break soul ties even with ministry that 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 that, 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 that a watered down gospel, a, a, a watered down uh, a situation that is not feeding you. It's not bringing you to the place of abundance, who you are in the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, I love being in a place and having good addictions with the Lord because, you know, there's good addiction, there's good generation of curses, there's bad generation of curses. There's good addictions and there's bad addiction. And whatever it is, write it down on a piece of paper. This is it. This is that. This is this what has me bound. This what has me trapped. I break those things in Jesus. The blood of Jesus rebukes you. In the name of Jesus, I dismantle that. Well, whatever you renounce, the devil understands. He has no more legal rights over you. Whatever you say no to and say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ, you're on the victory side. You're on the winning side. You're heading to a place of abundance with the Lord, a place of peace, shalom, nothing missing, nothing broken, because the addiction is not going to hold me back today from what God has taken me. I'm going to break it. I'm going to change the channel, and I'm going to live God's best. I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be armed and dangerous. Be awesome, and break away from the addictions that is killing you. Before it kills you, drop it and move on to God's best. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations, you are officially now halfway through the entire 12-part series on Spiritual Warfare by John Ramirez. His book, Destroying Fear, is getting all kinds of incredible comments. We're hearing all kinds of people set free from the ways that they've been attacked in their life where fear and panic attacks and worry and job problems and relationship problems are being crushed and broken off. 
And we just hope that you're a part of all that victory. We hope that you've got a copy of the book. There's all kinds of offers in this individual article below, so please enjoy. And next week, we're gonna be releasing John's next lesson, lesson seven of 12 on sin. Soon it will turn these walls to